Yo, how many more of these bushes we gotta trim, man? I know, right? Because it's getting hot out here. <laughs> he sings, he dances, he acts, and oh yeah, he writes. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs you didn't know were written by Justin Timberlake. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at songs that JT wrote for other artists, either on his own or in collaboration with other singers, songwriters, or producers. Number 10, The Only Promise That Remains, Reba McIntyre and Justin Timberlake. When the ground beneath you starts to shake it, shake it. Now this is what you'd refer to as an odd couple. Reba McIntyre, who is perhaps best known for her longtime self-titled sitcom Reba, is also a successful country music singer with a couple of Grammys under her belt. And after all the skies falling in fact, it was at the 2007 Grammy Awards that she met Justin Timberlake and asked him to be a part of her upcoming album, Reba Duets. With the help of producer and songwriter Matt Morris, JT penned this track, a Celtic love song that, surprisingly, both artists feel right at home singing. And after all the waters away. It isn't exactly what the kids are bumping to these days, but it's still a pretty great tune. Number 9, Cold Case Love, Rihanna. Cold Case Love was written by Timberlake with help from Rob Knox and James Fauntleroy II, two members of his personal production team, affectionately referred to as the Wise. Not long after the song was released, Rihanna admitted that it was about her tumultuous relationship with fellow pop star Chris Brown, who'd been arrested a year earlier for assaulting the Barbadian singer. Cold Case Love, which was featured on Rihanna's fourth studio album Rated R, received acclaim from critics and was considered a major step forward in her career. Number 8, Slow Dance, Carrie Hilson. R&B singer Carrie Hilson enlisted the help of everyone's favorite former boy band member Justin Timberlake when writing this steamy sex ballad. The two artists got together during the British leg of JT's Future Sex Love Show tour, and the ensuing collaboration ended up being the sixth single released from Hilson's 2009 album, In a Perfect World. Slow Dance peaked at number 49 on the US Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart, and earned praise from critics, who called it sparkly and psychedelic. The funny thing is, with a few lyrical adjustments, Timberlake could have just as easily kept this song for himself. The style and tone are right up his alley. I like that one. <sighs> Number 7, Falling Down, Duran Duran. Once was a man who consumed his place. Justin Timberlake has his fingerprints all over this track. Not only did he help write the song, but he also produced it and provided background vocals. At this point, he might as well just join the band. Alas, legendary British new wave band Duran Duran would be just fine without him. Falling Down failed to generate much success in Europe or North America, although somewhat inexplicably, it did quite well in Italy, peaking at number two on the Italian singles chart. Ironically, Britney Spears, who just so happens to be Timberlake's ex, inspired the music video's main character, Small World.
Number six, Don't Let Me Down, Leona Lewis. British singer-songwriter Leona Lewis turned to JT for a little lyrical help on this track, which was featured on her second studio album Echo in 2009. Lewis had been trying to hook up with Timberlake for some time, so when he invited her to perform with him at a 2008 charity concert in Las Vegas, she leapt at the opportunity. It had been reported that the two were planning on covering a song by legendary country singer Dolly Parton, but Lewis and Timberlake ended up penning something original instead, and the infectious Don't Let Me Down was the result. Number five, Miles Away, Madonna. I just woke up from a fuzzy dream. The third single released from Madonna's 2008 album Hard Candy, Miles Away is an electro pop track inspired by her long distance relationship with her film director, former husband Guy Ritchie. She penned the track with help from Justin Timberlake and record producers Danja and Timbaland. Miles away. The song was a critical and commercial success for Madonna, who ultimately enlisted Timberlake's help on many of the album's songs, including Four Minutes, which he wrote, produced, and featured on. We only got four minutes to save the world. A down-tempo ballad that makes no attempt to hide the fact that her relationship with Richie is on the fritz. Miles Away is a simple yet honest track made whole by Madonna's impassioned voice. Number four, Work It, Nelly featuring Justin Timberlake. The fifth single released off of the multi-platinum album Nellyville, Work It hasn't exactly stood the test of time, but it did manage to make it to number 68 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Lyrics like, don't you say a word, I just want to see you work it, and keep yo hips poppin' are far from Nelly, Timberlake, or any other artist's best work. But you can't help but sing along with JT's classic falsetto chorus. While the song was panned by critics, who called it one of Nelly Ville's quote, weaker tracks, it can nonetheless get people moving and working it on the dance floor. Number three, winner, Jamie Foxx featuring Justin Timberlake and T.I. Memphis, Tennessee native Justin Timberlake was a member of the writing team for this Jamie Foxx track back in 2009. Working with T.I. as well as his production team, The Wise, Timberlake crafted a song that is pure hip hop fun. He features on the track as well although it almost didn't happen. The story goes that Timberlake didn't want to be on the track, but Fox convinced him by saying, quote, man, my people suffered for 500 years. You owe me this. Credit where credit is due. Fox is clearly a man who doesn't mince words. It all worked out in the end, as the song peaked at number 28 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Number two, Rehab, Rihanna featuring Justin Timberlake. The fifth single off of her Grammy-winning album, Good Girl Gone Bad. This song's lyrics compare being broken up with to addiction, an addiction that can only be cured by going to rehab. The music video features a sexy as all hell Rihanna rubbing up against a motorcycle riding, outdoor shower taking, drop dead gorgeous looking Justin Timberlake. And seeing as how it has more than 245 million views on YouTube, we think it's safe to say Rihanna made the right choice casting the song's writer and producer in the role of her hot former lover.
Number one, partition Beyonce. At the partition, Beyonce's self-titled fifth album took the world by storm when it was released in 2013, topping numerous best album of the year lists and ultimately taking home three Grammys. Beyonce was one of the most successful albums of Queen Bee's career. She owes some of its success to Timberlake, who co-wrote the songs Partition and Blow, the latter of which is pure, funky, disco-inspired fun. Partition is where we believe Timberlake had the most influence as the song's steamy lyrics and thumping beat are reminiscent of many of the songs off of his seminal 2006 album Future Sex Love Sounds. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.